your news channel starts right now. Good evening, everybody. I'm C.J. Ward. We begin at 6 o'clock with day two of Old Spanish Days in Santa Barbara. We kicked it off last night with Bikini at the Old Mission, and many folks returned there this morning for a special mass. News Channel reporter John Palminteri joined about 200 others at the mission. He joins us live, and John, you heard a unifying message. Yes, and we're hearing those unifying bells once again here at 6 o'clock in front of Santa Barbara's historic Old Mission, which has been such a wonderful gathering place for Old Spanish Days 2022. For those who attended the Mass today, it was a message about family love, about a community coming together, and also just the spirit of Old Spanish Days. These are all very much a part of Fiesta 2022, and this was just one part of it. The religious connections to Old Spanish Days have a deep history in Santa Barbara. That brought out over 200 people to the special La Misa del Presidente at the Old Mission for a morning service. It is this Franciscan hospitality that allows us to be here together today. In between prayers and the traditional mass, Father Larry Gosselin talked about his week out on the town hoping to inspire the fiesta spirit for himself and others. I went into the Apple computer shop and I yelled out in the middle of the store, Viva La Fiesta! <laughs> he shared a symbolic gift he picked up on a recent trip, saying La Presidente was in a new house with her new position and should have a new broom. So Maria and Francisco, I want you to have this As the mass ended, there was a reception outside. One of the unique aspects of this mass and celebration were the mariachis who performed in the church and in the courtyard as well. Uh, definitely my favorite part was it being bilingual because I'm bilingual and just seeing the, the presidente um, saying like how important it is to follow traditions of like speaking Spanish and also understanding the meanings of those traditions. That was really beautiful. I loved the mariachi. That was such a treat. I was not expecting that. Being able to see the fiesta brings us back to that time, which I think is really, really nice just to remember, you know, where Santa Barbara came from. For those both from the local area and visiting, it was a time of traditions, families, and the overall sense of community and then making plans for the next fiesta stops. We have the tickets for the parade. We're going to the rodeo on Sunday. So we'd like to do the La Guerra Plaza and go down to maybe Mackenzie Park too. And she makes a good point there. There are just so many things that people are doing. But for some, it was so important to be here for this mass as a component to Old Spanish Days. And the mission, as we know last night, with roughly 5,000 people here in that spectacular Fiesta Pequena show right here on these steps that you saw on our news channel, plus La Misa this morning, the mission playing a very important role with Old Spanish Days. Reporting live at Santa Barbara's Old Mission, I'm News Channel reporter John Palminteri. All right. Thank you, John. And the Earl Warren Showgrounds is also in the fiesta spirit. The ranchers are there and they're ready to go.